So you give us give us the update. Are we looking at Sadiq Yusuf, U.S. citizen now? Is it, is it all yeah, done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that part is done. Now it's just a part of helping the, the guys back home. How's that process? You know, obviously the, the world has been following along with you. How's the process yeah, going? Yeah. The, I'm actually going to start the process after the fight. My mom wanted me to wait a little bit, you know, because it's going to require a lot of time. So she was like, hey, we got the citizenship. So after the fight, then we can focus on helping your brothers and sisters. I dig it. Is, is there any thought to maybe change the nickname? I just want to throw it out there. Instead of Super Sadiq Yusuf, maybe Citizen Sadiq Yusuf, uh -huh, right? I know, I know wait, man. Super is dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about man. Three and zero in the UFC. You got a couple of first round finishes, man. I mean, getting a lot of attention. Did you see things happening this way when when you came into the UFC? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, before I got here, I kind of even me, my coaches. You want to make sure you're able to compete with the UFC. You don't want to just come be able to get here. My story is not the guy that made it to the UFC. I want to see how much I can accomplish while I'm here. Nice. And I think definitely getting a lot of attention. I mean, are you feeling kind of the added eyeballs, the added expectations, and is that is that difficult at all? Do you enjoy uh, it? No, because like I said before, it was kind of what I expected, you know. And um, each fight, I was like, and the way the way I fight, even when I was coming up on the regional scenes, you know, it only takes one one time for someone to see me, and then the, the next time they're like, oh man, I remember that guy, I remember that guy. So it's just the same. It's just on a bigger stage now. Very nice. You're back in Vegas. Last time you were here, you're fighting in the Tough Gym. Right now, you're fighting at T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there something something yeah, special yeah, about that? that something that's, cool? Um, I I actually didn't think about that until um someone asked me that in an interview yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah, that is pretty cool. You're from fighting in the Tough Gym, so now it's a huge arena. I've never been to the arena before, but I heard it's probably it's gonna be super packed. Yeah, no question. Then obviously fighting on ESPN, took big pay-per-view card. Right, anytime Conor fights, it's a big event. I mean. Obviously, every time you fight, it's it's the biggest of your career. Exactly. But, but does that stuff does that add anything to it? Does it mean anything? <laughs> nah, like you said, each one has been the biggest part of my career. Even when I was coming up in the amateurs, I treated each one like it was like a UFC main event. Nice. So they come to you with the name Andre Feely. What's what's your initial thoughts? Uh, I kind of I always had the feeling that I was going to get matched up with him sooner or later. And when they told me I was going to be fighting him, I was super happy, you know, because I like the spot that he's held in the division for a while. He's the kind of guy that I'm going to have to beat to get to the other side of the echelon. A lot of us look at it and I think we're thinking, boy, that could be a fight of the night right there. Can oh, you? yeah, for sure. Well, I was going to say, can you let yourself have that? Because normally a fight of the night means you got to get through a little bit of trouble too, uh, right? Yeah, you know, I, I'll, I'll appreciate an easy day in the office for sure. But I know Philly's a dog too, and I'm a dog too. And we have the kind of style that could make that kind of fight. Yeah. You're, you're on the prelims, but I think we kind of all understand why it's on the prelims. Like, it's ESPN, that's the yeah, guy ball, yeah, so it's yeah. get pay-per-view revenue. So does at, it bother at first, you? No, no, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm sure that um, the higher-ups in the UFC know what they're doing more than we do. But um, at first, I was surprised because I thought I was going to be on the main card. But then, like, like I said before, I was like, oh, they probably know what they're doing. Because the ESPN, at the end of the day, that's for the people back home <laughs> who are just going to watch TV, you know? So at the end, it, like, more people might see me than they might see the pay-per-view, you know? Yeah, no question about it. Talk about your expectations here. I mean, Andre Feely is a known commodity, right? He's been around for a long time. You're definitely a prospect on the rise, but mm -hmm. you beat a name like this. I mean, are you starting to think about where you belong yes, in the division? Is there a number next to your name? Exactly. That's, exact, that's exactly what I was trying to say before. It's like a win like this is what I need to get to the upper echelon of the division, you know? He's kind of been the, like, held the same position in the division for a long time. So after this, it's definitely, I'm definitely going to be ranked in the top 15 after this, and then I'm going to be looking to get a top 10 opponent. I gotta ask, I mean, man, this African explosion of talent that's on the rise, man, I mean, do, do you take inspiration from seeing what these other guys are accomplishing? 100%, man, 100%. It's, it's cool that it's happening in my sport, even outside of my sport, man. Just whenever I see, like, Nigerian shining in general, it's a big motivation for the rest of us. And the fact that I get to watch all these guys get their belt, man, is super fantastic. Every, like, when I watch both of them win, when I watch both of them win the belt, I went crazy at home. That's cool. It seems inevitable that the UFC is going to host an event in Africa. 100%. When that I, happens, are, 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 are you like, hey, Get me yeah, on there for sure for sure um I, like i said before no matter what my plans is around that time of the fight i'm gonna switch it up to try to get on that card nice 
First things first, obviously you got to win here and keep the momentum going. I mean, when you play this one out in your head, how do you see this one going? I mean, is this going to be a back and forth battle or, or can you go uh, have an easy night in the office? With my power, there's always an easy night. <laughs> That's always possible for me to have an easy night in the office. And like I said, I, I don't I don't know. You know, the way we fight is definitely going to be fighter and night worthy. But like I said before, with my power, it always changes. It could change into an easy night at the office at any time.